Yes, that's me on the saxophone. Yeah, right. Hey, this is Ed Kramer, and welcome to the smooth sounds of my CGI history channel. This is our second look at omnibus computer graphics from a real day submitted to my New York SIGGRAPH showcase in 1986. This was really just one year before the company imploded and devastated a huge chunk of the CGI universe. The pod is lowered into the shuttle propulsion unit and locked into place. Omnibus was actually a series of interrelated companies, primarily in Canada. Uh, Omnibus Video opened in Toronto in 1981, headed by the former president of Sheridan College. Uh, one of their earliest employees, my friend Robert Marinick from ILM, animated with the tween system that was uh, developed at the New York Institute of Technology. Uh, we took a look at them a few weeks ago. Omnibus Computer Graphics was uh, started in 1982. In 1983, they used a DEC VAX 11750 to produce what they say was the first CGI commercial produced in Canada. There was an IPO, and in 1983, according to Terence Masson's book, CG 101, they became the first publicly traded CGI company. Um, Toronto was for Canadian broadcast work. Their New York facility on 57th Street was for U.S. video production, and Omnibus LA was for movies. Uh, the facilities were interconnected, but apparently it was painfully slow, and each one pretty much developed independently of the others. British Columbia. Uh, David Sieg, our old chief engineer from Image West, was brought on as vice president of uh, research and development. And other notables uh, from Caltech, a number of them, uh, included Al Barr and uh, Brian von Herzen. Omnibus developed their own in-house software called Prisms, which eventually became the backbone for the Houdini package used today. Next week, the death of Omnibus, DOA. Dun, dun, dun. See you then.